everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Julene, and today we're gonna be doing a breastfeeding vlog while we talk about breastfeeding. Um, Mister's a little bit anxious over here, so let's get started. A large percentage of women start off breastfeeding. I'd say probably about 80% of women start off breastfeeding, and of that, a very small percentage end up exclusively breastfeeding. The reason for that being is that there's very little resources out there and there's very little education when it comes to breastfeeding. If you've watched any of my other videos, I talk about breastfeeding a little bit and I say how it's not the easiest thing in the world. Everybody thinks that it's this innate ability that you, you know what you have to do and the baby knows what he has to do. And that's just not the way it works. The baby needs to learn how to latch on and you need to learn how to latch the baby on. Even though for some moms, it's very easy and it's just, you know, putting the baby on the boob and that's it, but it's not always that way. And from people that I've spoken to, it's actually been more of a struggle than not. Breastfeeding is already hard as a thing. And then you have things like mastitis, clogged ducts, and milk blebs, have tongue ties, lip ties, and poor latches. So I actually got mastitis clogged ducts and milk bleb. So what is a milk bleb? A milk bleb is when one of the pores in your nipple gets blocked and the milk cannot come out. So when I researched it online, it said that it basically looked like a little white pimple on your nipple and that's exactly what it looks like. And basically it's just the pore that has been blocked. Basically it's just the pore that has been blocked and the milk cannot come out through it. Say hi. Say hi, Poppy. This is Caleb. He's done eating. He's very, very quick at eating. He only takes like, I don't know, a minute or two to eat these days. I mean, he's always been a fast eater and he only eats off of one side, which is crazy, but I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so I had to take Caleb to his dad because um, he was a little bit fussy. He wanted to play. So I was talking about milk blebs and now I want to talk about clogged milk ducts. So clogged milk ducts are basically the little channels in your breast that take the milk to your nipple and that gets clogged. When that gets clogged and that gets infected, then you get mastitis. And that's what mastitis basically is. Mastitis is an infected clogged duct. Now mastitis can be pretty severe and you can get pus in there in your breast and everything that did not happen to me i have heard stories of that happening so you just have to be careful now before i go into any of this stuff i do want to mention that i am not an expert i am not a doctor and i am not a medical professional by any means um this is just my experience and i'm just sharing it with you guys if any of these symptoms you need to contact your doctor like i said before i got a milk bleb and that milk bleb caused me to have a clogged duct i had two clogged ducts one of the clogged ducts i got was because of the milk bleb and the other clogged duct that i got was because of an improper latch which i will get back into in a little bit but basically this all led to me having mastitis now i noticed that i had a red patch on my boob and it was hot when i touched it and when i looked up the symptoms of mastitis online that's basically what it said um so i instantly called my doctor once i knew that i had mastitis there are different ways of treating it um you can treat it at home without any medicine and one of the ways is you actually just jump into the shower and you take a hot shower and you let the water just fall on your boob and you know you obviously have to make sure that it's like warm or hot and the warm water is supposed to help kind of like unclog what's going on in there you can also just massage your boob a little bit and just see if that helps out um but the heat should help to unclog whatever is clogged in there now as soon as you're done doing that as soon as you're done taking your shower you need to make sure that you latch the baby on and you get him to breastfeed so whatever is clogged can get released um if you cannot latch the baby on then make sure that you try to pump and if you cannot pump then you need to hand express but the most important thing is that you need to make sure that you get some breast stimulation right after doing that so you can try to unclog whatever is going on in there the other thing that you can do is you can also apply a warm compress onto your breast it's the same concept 
Um, you basically just grab a towel, you can wet it, you put it in the microwave for a few minutes and then you just apply it to your breast the same way. And I just massaged my breast a little bit and I just, you know, rubbed it a little bit just to make sure that I was trying to loosen up the clog. And again, try to latch the baby on or pump or use manual expression to release the milk. Now, there are times where these things don't work and you do need to get medicine. I needed medicine because I had a high fever, I had really bad body ache, and I just could not move and I could not function. And I'm a stay at home mom and I needed to take care of my baby. So I actually called my doctor and my doctor gave me antibiotics and that is what I did. It is very important for you guys to um, taste your milk if you are willing to do so because I actually tasted mine and regular breast milk is sweet and after i had the infection the milk was actually salty i have seen that because of the infection the milk can be can taste really really bad and you could even have pus in your milk and so that is not good um but my milk was just a little bit salty and the baby was still latching on and i did ask my doctor and he said that it was okay to continue breastfeeding so if the baby doesn't want to latch on, then at that point, it's extremely important to have some sort of milk removal process because if not, your boobs are just gonna be engorged and you're not gonna get rid of the mastitis or clogged ducts. So there are ways of preventing this. In order to prevent these things, you should try to breastfeed every two to three hours and if not, pumping or manually expressing your milk and not allowing yourself to get engorged. If you do get engorged, then immediately try to remove the milk so that there are no chances of your ducts getting clogged. The second way that you can prevent this is by making sure that you are nursing effectively. It is so important that you nurse the correct way. So this was my biggest issue that I talked about in my other video, and it was not having a proper latch. So first of all, I had a shallow latch, so the baby wasn't latching on correctly. He was just basically grabbing the nipple and that's not how you're supposed to breastfeed. You're supposed to grab the entire areola and put it in the baby's mouth. And it was extremely painful, but once I got a lactation consultant, she actually noticed that both my nipples were different. One of my nipples is completely round and the other one has is like a lipstick nipple. So it's like shaped like a lipstick. Because it was a lipstick shape, basically what the baby was doing was that he was biting onto the bottom part of like the nipple and then the top part was exposed. So by biting the top part as he was sucking the milk, he was basically clogging it at the same time. Not to mention that was so painful. My nipple would end up being white at the end and it was just because he was like sucking all the blood. And then all of a sudden, as soon as he would let go, all the blood would rush back into my boob. And it was just the most painful like minute to minute and a half ever. It was so bad. As soon as the lactation consultant saw that he was doing that, she just changed his positioning on my boob. And after that, it was smooth sailing. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you guys have any other at-home remedies or any stories that you guys want to share, then by all means, also leave them in the comments. I would love to read them. And if you guys like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a good one.